In this video we show the iCub learning about objects and interaction through play behaviour. The iCub has a set of memories called schemas of basic actions and their consequences. The novelty of the green object triggers a schema which causes the iCub to reach to that position. The iCub then gets tactile feedback from the object. This causes it to create a new schema relating to touching objects it sees at that specific location. It repeats the action several times to test and reinforce the schema. The iCubs also learnt about reaching and touching objects at other specific locations. By comparing all of these different schemas together, it can make a generalisation about how to reach out and touch an object at any location. It's now doing this, and now testing this generalised schema. So the schema is telling the robot that if it sees an object, and it knows how to reach to the location where it sees the object, it should receive some tactile feedback. Now the smiley face expression the robot is giving is showing that it's getting that tactile feedback that it's expecting. Now, after trying it a few times, the novelty of reaching that object has worn off and the robot now wants to try something new. In this case, it's grasping. So the robot grasps the object and then generates a new schema relating to holding an object by reaching to it and then grasping. It then very quickly makes the generalisation that it can pick up objects in any location that it can reach to because it knows both about grasping and about reaching and touching. The iCub plays with the object by reaching to different locations while still holding on to it. Now very young infants can't release objects at will. They have a reflexive grasp which means they carry on holding things until they've lost interest in them. And that's what the robot's doing. It's holding on to this object and it can't do anything else until it loses interest. This actually helps the robot focus its learning on the movement of the object in the visual scene. Eventually, the iCub loses interest and decides to try something else. In the absence of anything novel in the environment, it chooses to perform the most excited action in its memory. It's previously learnt to press buttons, and so decides to try the pressing action, but it's still holding on to the object. This is potentially very exciting, because it shows the iCub is intrinsically motivated to use existing actions in new situations. As nothing happened, it's just decided to release the object. The iCub is also able to plan a sequence of actions to reach a goal by chaining schemas together. In this case, the sequence requires reaching to and then picking up the green object. Just as with real infants, we help the iCub to do things it finds difficult. We've now introduced this new red object. This is novel for the iCub, and so quite exciting. So the iCub wants to interact with the object, and it looks through its schema memory to try and find something to do with the red object. And it selects the most exciting schema, which in this instance is reaching out to the object. But interestingly, the robot is still holding on to the green object. 
So what we can do here is we can scaffold the learning of the robot using language to help it learn something new. Drop. This isn't a command, but it's a word that the robot has associated through experience with the action of dropping. The word excites the schema for opening the hand and so motivates the iCub to drop the object. Through this, the robot can learn about building stacks.